I was gonna go off down another analogy route then, but I'm just gonna try and stop myself. Hello, big hair, day three. If you want to see how I did this, I did a tutorial, use that word in the very loosest sense, uh, a couple of videos ago. And I curl it and, you know, this is day three, I just add loads of shampoo. I don't know why I'm saying it like it looks really amazing. So obviously everyone will want to know what I've done to my hair. Not true. I have got three amazing face creams to show you today. I did a video a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, called um, SOS, I think, SOS Creams for the Skin, Three Best Beauty Buys. And since then, I've been testing out three very affordable rescue creams. Now, these are the sorts of cream. Now, these are the sorts of face cream that you need if you're... Now, these are the sorts of face cream that you need if your skin feels that sort of angsty, like it's gonna fall off, really dry, irritated, sensitized. It might be that it's a change in the weather or that you've overdone it with your retinoids or maybe you've done a really strong facial peel, any of those things, or it could just be that you generally have sensitive skin or sensitized skin. And so these are three very affordable creams that will do the trick, bringing your face back from the brink. And they're just really good to have in your beauty kit for the colder winter months, all year round really, but the colder winter months. And they're not those really emollient kind of balms that sit over the skin. These are quite refined textures that you can use as your moisturizer. So it's not like you're sort of slathering yourself. They can be part of your daily skincare routine. So, the first two I'm gonna show you are ceramide based. Um, ceramides are, I feel like ceramides and skin barrier, I don't know why I keep doing this at the moment, skin barrier are, they're almost like buzz phrases for the last year or so, um, but, with, but with good reason, because your skin barrier is like the, the wall of your house. If you didn't have any walls on your house, you'd feel pretty vulnerable. It stops the weather getting in, stops the, this is where the analogy is going to fall, fall down completely. I was going to say stops the heat getting out, stops your cat escaping. But if you imagine um, that wall is sort of the protection for your house or flat or wherever it is that you live, you have walls, don't you? Um, and the ceramides are sort of the cement between the bricks of the bricks of your skin cells. Anyway, don't know where this is going at all. The first two I'm gonna show you are ceramide based. So you're, you're helping your skin barrier by um, adding to the glue that holds everything together and really strengthening that barrier, okay? Which means it protects your skin from the outer elements and helps to keep moisture in. There you go, I got there in the end. The first one, I've been meaning to feature this for a good few weeks, but you know when you love something that much, you think, I don't know how I'm going to talk about this without seeming like I am just completely raving, because I do think it's incredible. It's so, so lightweight, but really, really intensely hydrating. Uh, I know that that's a sort of a combination I talk about quite a lot, but I do think that for a lot of people, it's sort of the holy grail of a moisturizer, is to find something that doesn't leave their skin feeling greasy, um, and doesn't, you know, or buttery, but is richly intensive and, you know, really, really moisture boosting. It's exactly the kind of texture that my mum likes. Um, sometimes I really like that buttery texture, but not everybody does. So, holy grail status, really, to, to find creams that are very, very light, like this, light as air, but really, really rich and nourishing on the skin packed full of ceramides, this one. It's just a very, very good product. Another cream, it's completely different tack, but I was trying to think of other creams that I've said that about, that they're very lightweight, but intensely moisturizing. For example, the Beauty Pie um, Triple Hyaluronic Cream, gel cream, is brilliant. That's another example of that kind of texture. And I'll link to everything in the blog post. So to get to my blog posts, all you need to do is click the link in my profile on Instagram. And all of the things that I've been writing about are right there. And you just need to click. So it will say three, I don't know, three more SOS repair creams, I imagine the title will be. It'll be something pretty straightforward, okay? 
you'll be able to find it easily. I need to do one of those link tree things that people have. You know when you go on the link tree and then it takes you to different things that they're doing? But I kind of feel like everything's on my blog anyway. That is my link tree. So just go to the blog and not only will you find everything that I reference on Instagram, you will find other fun stuff that's not even on Instagram. Woo! A whole world of crilly. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or not. Second one, Dr. Jart, and this is the Ceramidin Cream. The reason I love this one is, again, packed full of ceramides. It's got a really lush texture, this one. It feels quite different to most face creams that I've tried. It almost feels medicinal, like an ointment. Oint, ointment, oint, ointment, oint, ointment. We head together. So it feels very healing, this one. <laughs> healing. And I feel like when your skin is just falling apart, sometimes all of these things psychologically can really help. It feels very sort of medicinal. It smells slightly medicinal. It really feels like the kind of ointment that you would put on if you had, you know, maybe injured your skin even. I'm not saying that's what it's for, I'm saying that's what it reminds me of. The whole thing looks a bit like something you would get from the chemists, doesn't it, to, to treat a condition. Uh, again, packed full of ceramide, so both of these are really helping to strengthen the skin barrier, prevent the water from getting out of your skin, and so it, you know, it's just helping to retain that, the, the sort of healthy look of your skin, you know? I was going to go off down another analogy route then, but I'm just going to try and stop myself. My third cream, I have two versions for you here. There's a fluid, a creme and a fluid, or a cream and a fluid. La Roche-Posay, and this is the Dermalajo, uh, Dermalajo range. They've already got a serum out of this, which I use quite a lot. Mm -hmm. That's on my shelves next to me. So my shelves to this side of me are just full of bits and pieces that I need when I'm filming, um, especially when I'm filming makeup. So I've got brushes on there, I've got stuff that's waiting to be tried, also taking up my whole bathroom. Uh, I've got dry shampoo, I've got hairspray, I've got hair grips, I've got cleanser, I've got all the stuff that I might need while I'm filming so that I don't have to move or go to a different room. It's laziness in the extreme, or you could say it's an amazing sense of organisation. Either one will do. So I use this quite a lot. This is my second bottle since it came out. And now they have the cream and the fluid. The creme and the fluid. And they all champion the same ingredient from La Roche-Posay, which is the neurosensine. And it's a very, very clever ingredient that helps to sort of stop the cycle of sensitivity. Because it is a vicious cycle, you know. Um, your skin becomes more sensitive to stuff, and then it, it just, you know, it reacts to everything. So it's all about breaking that cycle and just helping the skin to help itself and to strengthen itself. And this is the aim of this range. And it's really been formulated for people with regularly sensitive skin. And so you know that you're gonna be a-okay with it. It's like the ultimate rescue in a way. In terms of the different textures, fluids are great if you've got oilier skin or combination skin, or if you don't like the feeling of a richer cream. It's still very creamy. It's just a lighter, a lighter version. I don't know whether you can see that. It almost feels like one of those cream serums that you can get. Um, whereas the cream, the creme on this side, you can see it's got a bit more form to it, you know? So those are my three, four in brackets. Um, SOS repair creams that I've been discovering recently that are very affordable and brilliant to add to your arsenal of, um, of skincare products for the winter. All right, I will link to the blog post in the caption, but really just click the clickable link in my profile and it will take you to the post and all the details and a bit more bump about everything is on there. Alright, um, thanks for watching, see you next time!